Hello and welcome to another video. We are back here on my floor again. I didn't really like my setup over there and I don't really like it here either but I have a tiny room and not much space to work with. And I also don't have a tripod so whenever I try to set up my camera over there I have to get really creative and I just didn't have it in me today so here we are. So recently I did the mid-year book freakout tag and one of the questions there was about books that I'm planning to read by the end of the year and I didn't have a very particular answer for that question because as I explained in that video I don't normally make TBRs either weekly or monthly. I sometimes do make yearly TBRs but other than that I just read whatever I feel like at the moment. However, since that video I did think a little bit about some books that I would like to finish by the end of 2021 and I decided to talk to you about it in a video. So without further ado, let's start with the first book, which is Dune by Frank Herbert. Now this is the only book that I mentioned in my uh, mid-year book freakout tag video as the book I would like to finish by the end of 2021 because the movie is coming out and I want to read the book before I see the movie. Now this is a huge book, maybe not this particular edition, I mean it kind of looks tiny but it's, it's thick and it's intimidating and it's sci-fi and while I love reading sci-fi I am not very well versed in the genre so I've been putting this off for a very long time but since the movie release date is very near I will have to pick this up very soon. The next book that I would like to finish by the end of the year is Dreams of Gods and Monsters by Lady Taylor. I think I've talked about my experience reading the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy in a previous video so you might know that I was a little bit disappointed with the first two books. I originally planned to read all three books back to back. I mean I actually waited to get all three books so that I can do that. But then I read the first two and I started reading the third one but I really really needed a break. I just didn't feel like continuing with this story so I put this book aside. I guess the biggest problem for me with this series is the fact that it's a YA written a while ago so if I had read them when they first came out I probably would have liked them much much more but now it just isn't it and I kind of even don't feel like reading this one but at the same time I do want to know how the story ends. I have a very hard time just not finishing books because I, I, I like to know how they end. So I would like to read this one by the end of the year so that I'm finally done with the series since these books have been uh, on my shelves for ages. The next book I want to talk about is The Fifth Season by Nora K. Jemsen. I have read two Nora K. Jemsen books so far and those are The City We Became and A Hundred Thousand Kingdoms and I loved both of those books and The Fifth Season is probably her most popular book and I actually started reading it on my Kindle and I feel like this is also something that, that I've already mentioned in a previous video but anyway I started reading it on my Kindle but I have a very hard time reading fantasy books on Kindle. I don't know why, it's just the way it is. So I read a few chapters and from what I read it really seemed like an interesting book but I just struggled so much that I decided to stop because I could tell that the fifth season was going to be an amazing book but I realized that by continuing to read the book on my Kindle I wouldn't doing the book justice and enjoying it as much as it deserves to be enjoyed so I decided to get a physical copy and read it in a physical form to be able to enjoy it properly and that was about a year ago <laughs> and I still haven't done that hopefully I do it by the end of the year because I really love Jemsen's work and I want to read as many of her books as I can especially the fifth season since it is so 
popular and loved. The next book on my list is Clara and the Sun by Kazuo Ishiguro. It was probably one of the most anticipated releases of this year and I've been seeing this book everywhere for a while now and a lot of people have read it, a lot of people have talked about it. I have read Ishiguro's Never Let Me Go and I really like that book. It's weird but in a good way. It's strange and mysterious and challenging but also very easy to read and understand. So I'm very excited for Clara and the Sun. It does have a very interesting premise. It's basically, if I understand correctly, uh, told from the point of view of an AI and if the Goodreads summary is to be trusted. The book tackles the question of what it means to love but I mean from my experience reading Never Let Me Go I do know that Ishiguro really does discuss this really big questions, uh, especially those that concern the future of humanity. So I've seen very different opinions about this book. I don't know how much I'll enjoy the book. I mean you can never really know that until you read the book, but I do really like the concept and I have to admit I do have big expectations since, since it is Kazuo Ishiguro, but I guess we'll see by the end of 2021. And the last book on my list is The Lights of Prague by Nicole Jarvis. I stumbled upon this book completely by accident and I read the summary and I was hooked. So obviously the book takes place in Prague. It's a fantasy novel, it's, it's a dark fantasy novel and I love reading fantasy stories that are set in Slavic countries since I come from one of those. So the story features the main character Domek who is a lamplighter and in Prague these lamplighters are actually monster hunters and I guess the scariest or the most dangerous monsters are Pijavice, which I think that's how you pronounce that because that's how we pronounce it in Croatian. It's a word for leech and in this story Pijavice are some sort of vampiric creatures, so I guess the name is very fitting. So our main character discovers some sort of a conspiracy among the Pijavice which threatens the world and he has to stop it. I don't know, to me it sounds very interesting, very dark. I really, really feel like reading a dark fantasy because I haven't read a dark fantasy in a while. Um, this one does sound like it's perfect for fall, so I think I will save it until it's dark and gloomy outside. Anyway, that would be all. These are the five books that I would love to finish by the end of 2021. Whether I will or not will depend entirely on my mood. Thank you very much for sticking until the end of the video. Tell me in the comments what books are you planning to read by the end of 2021 and I will see you next Monday. Bye!